Hey everybody, RC here. I want to talk to you about a special feature inside of Photoshop CC that I think is going to get photographers really excited about shooting in high dynamic range. Now, let me explain to you what the concept is here. When you're working with a file, right, you can go ahead and you can have a specific image, right? Beautiful sky. I like what's happening there, but I've lost all of this information inside of the foreground. Now, if you come over here, you'll notice that you have another image that's got a lot of foreground information and you've got these lights that are over here, but we've lost the sky completely. So the problem with this is that we want to be able to have one file that has an extended range inside of one singular file. You can produce that right inside of Photoshop by going to File, Automate, Merge to HDR Pro. Right? You have the option to then go and say, all right, well, let's take the Ferris wheel and we're going to grab one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I shot seven exposures, right? One stop apart from one another. So it take a very, very underexposed portion of an image and then just continue one stop over, one stop over, one stop over until I get an image that has all of this detail down here in the bottom of it. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to take that file and I'm going to merge it into this super file. It's a 32-bit image. And usually when people are working in HDR, what they'll do is they'll switch that down and they start creating this thing called a tone map file. And it's a file that kind of looks a little bit more painterly than it does naturalistic. Right? What you're doing is you're taking 32 bits of data and you're moving it into a much smaller space. And you got to find a place to put all of that stuff. So when you're doing that, you're not going to necessarily get a very realistic file. Now, there are photographers that are out there that would like to have that super file, right? that really, really big 32-bit file, and they want to be able to have as much creative control of pushing and pulling. And that's what Photoshop did very, very well, because now you have support for 32-bit images right inside of Photoshop. So in this one section, the 16-bit area, this is where we would see the traditional HDR tone mapping. If you switch this back over to 32-bit, this is the big file. So this is the super file with all of that range. I'm going to go ahead and grab this, and then I'll just go ahead and I'll just tone an ACR. It's going to create a file. And now you'll notice that your exposure goes well past what you would normally see. Now, by comparison, when you worked with a file like this, you would only go maybe minus five, right? But look at this, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. You have all of this range of information that you can use, and that offers a great new way of taking these images and getting an incredible amount of detail realistically inside of Photoshop CC.